Give me a word that starts with K. Sure. Uh, how about the word kite? Right? You ever fly a kite? You ever see one fly? Kite starts with the letter K. I, huh? I got a carpet that has flowers on it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Hey, hi. Uh, Troy and I were just sitting here talking about the letter K and the words that begin with the letter K and the words that end with the letter K. And hey, Troy, I know somebody who is an expert on these things. Oscar, right. You want to go over to the trash can and see if he's home? Yeah. Okay, come on. Let's go. See what he's doing. Where is he? Now, don't be worried. You know he's going to be a grouch, right? Oscar, open the can. Uh, what there now? Come. Now, 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 mind your manners. Say hello to Troy. Uh, hello, Troy, I suppose. Oh, come on. Look, Oscar, mm. Troy and I Sitting over at the steps. Uh, Got the letter K, see? Yeah. Okay, now, we're talking about the letter K, and we want to find out lots and lots of words that begin with the letter K and words that end with the letter K. So we figured we'd come to Oscar. To me. To you. Oh, yeah. Well, I hate to say it, but mm -hmm. you are in luck. Really? Mm -hmm. Why? Uh, I happen to be an expert on the letter K. Hey, how about that, Troy? He knows all about it. For starters, I'd be happy to show you some things that end with the letter K. We'd Mr. be Man. happy to see them. Okay, Troy, let's see what he's got. Now, here's a rock. Now, the word rock ends with the letter K. Hmm, mm. that's absolutely right. Do you know that, yeah. Troy? Well, okay, now that's a good one, Oscar. Yeah. Um, hey, got an idea. Huh. Since, um, Troy doesn't know too many letters, uh, words that start with the letter K and end with the letter K. Yeah. Uh, why can't she keep this rock and uh, take it to her friends? What? Yeah, you know. Keep my rock? Sure, she can my, show her friends. My uh, beautiful rock? And the letter K, yeah. Rock. Are you kidding me? No, it's just an old rock. I mean, what just do you want it for? Just an old rock, he yeah. says. Give that to me, please. Oh. oh. Boy. Troy, don't worry about it. We'll try to find something else, OK? I'll show you something else. Ah, look, look, look mm. at this. What do you got? Ah, yeah. Oops, excuse me. What is that? Oh, sorry. Now, this is a stick. stick. Now, the word stick ends with the letter K. Yeah. Yep. Uh-huh. It's a stick. Okay. Now, that? it's an old stick. Now, I'm sure you wouldn't mind it if Troy kept this old stick. Ah! Uh, okay? That old stick? Yeah. I old... can't believe you said that. Really, Gordon. This stick is one of the most beautiful things I own. That stick is like an old friend to me. Oh, yeah? Tommy the Stick, I calls him. Tommy the Stick. I'd sooner give away uh, my trash can. Boy, when bananas grow on a cherry tree, that's when I'll give Tommy the Stick away. Give me my stick. Oh, wow. Oops. Did that hurt you? Hmm? Oh, yeah, pardon did, me. I didn't mean hurt. to belt you right. my he stick. Didn't, he didn't mean that, anyway. Yeah. Uh, okay, Oscar, I'll tell you what. Bring something else out of there, because well, we, we've got to find something else that begins or ends with the letter well, K. Well, yeah, so. well, I, all right, try this one. This one begins with a K. This is a key. And key begins with the letter K. Yeah. Okay, Oscar, what is that the key to? The key to? Yeah, what does it fit? Uh, nothing. Nothing? Nothing, no, it doesn't fit anything that I have. That doesn't fit anything. All right? <clears throat> okay. So you wouldn't mind then, since it doesn't fit anything, if Troy had this what, key what, 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 and showed it to her friends me, and said, wait, key a minute, wait a minute. K, huh? You want me to give that key away? 
Yeah. I would certainly mind giving that key away. I found that key on the street. And that means that somebody lost it. Yeah. Whoever lost it can't lock or unlock whatever it was the key to. Mm. So every time I look at that key, it makes me feel great. Oh, take your key, Oscar. Uh, Troy, look, he, he's just like that sometimes, you know? But I'll keep working on it. Oscar, yeah. don't you have anything in there that begins with the letter K that that uh, Troy could have? Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. I do have uh, one thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But nobody'd want it. No, it's no use. Well, why don't you let Troy and I decide that? No, uh, that's just no good. Uh, Gordon, nobody'd want it. It's just a stupid little thing, and it's hard to take care of. It makes a stupid noise. I've yeah. been wanting to get rid of it. So long now, but I know nobody'd want it. All right, why don't you bring it up and let me see it? Come on. Well, okay. bring it up. See what it is. Well, here it is. Uh -huh. But nobody'd want it. It's a kitten. Yeah, kitten. kitten That's another K word. That's right. Kitten begins with the letter K. Okay. <clears throat> so. Yeah, you don't uh, want it, do you? See? Oh yeah, yeah. Look, uh, Troy and I'll take this. We really will. You will. Yeah. yeah hey. I like it. Well, thanks a lot. Yeah. Well, I gotta be going now. Okay. We'll see you. Goodbye. Hey, Troy, we got a good deal here. You know why? Because of all the things that begin with the letter K, I can't think of anything nicer than the kitten. Hello there, and how are you today? I'm here to show you the letter K. And this is the word kitten. Kitten begins with the letter K. This is a kitten. Do any of you have a kitten? Did you know that the kitten's mother carries her kitten by the scruff of the neck? Meow? K. Key. Close the house, Leonard! K. One, two, three, four. Fingers. One, two, three, four, five. Five ice cream sodas. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Whatever they are. One, two, three, four, five. Five frogs. One, two, three, four, five. Five times. One, two, three, four, five. Five fancy fruitcakes. One for the fiddle, two for the bow, three for the trumpet, and four to blow, five for the drum, six for the stick, seven for the guitar, eight for the pick. 
Nine for the piano. Ten for the hen. Hooray for the octopus. One man band. One for the fiddle, two for the bow, three for the trumpet, and four to blow. Five for the drum, six for the stick, seven for the guitar, eight for the pick, nine for the piano, ten for the hand. Hooray for the octopus, one man band. Hey, let's play a game. Let's look around the kitchen and see how many things we can find, Leslie, that are round. Do you see any round? Hey, there's one. Oh, that's good, yeah, the skillet. That certainly is round. Oh, I have one. Put this back on the stove. That a good. What about that? That's round. Yeah. Oh! A sandwich is square, but if you make a sandwich with bologna, the bologna is round. round. That's right. <laughs> Oh, and if you want to have a little fruit for dessert, you take it out of the fruit bowl, and, and the, the fruit, fruit bowl's bowl. round. They're round things just about any place you look. Guess what we have in the pet shop window for you today? Now see if you can guess. It's an animal that starts with the word, with the letter S, and it's black and white, has a little stripe down its back, and sometimes, if you use your nose, you can smell them. Right, it's a skunk. Right, Doug? Yeah. This is a little, uh, it's called an Eastern, Eastern skunk. You like skunks, Guy? Yes. Do you? See if he wants to come up and uh, 
drink a little water here. Maybe. He was drinking a few minutes ago. You know why they have that smell, Guy? No. That they can make that smell? Well, that, uh, that protects them from other animals that might harm them. So they don't have too many enemies. <laughs> they can sort of take care of themselves. If they, uh, if they feel they're in danger, they turn around and they can squirt this liquid out. And it's very, very smelly. And so animals won't harm them, won't you know, fool around with them. They actually have sort of, it's kind of hard to see this one right now, but uh, they actually kind of have two, two white stripes down their back. Hey, shall we look at another animal, by the way? You know what a rhinoceros is, right? Yeah. Hmm, it's a great big animal. Well, have you, uh, have you ever seen two rhinoceroses in love? I'm in love with you, pretty baby. I'm in love with you, yes siree. Your face, your eyes, your smile beyond compare. They fly me through the air to paradise. I'm in love with you, pretty baby. I'm in love with you, can't you see? And if someday my dreams can all come true, there'll be another pretty baby like you. Your face, your eyes, your smile beyond compare. They fly me through to paradise. I'm in love with you, pretty baby. I'm in love with you, can't you see? And if someday my dreams can all come true, There'll be another pretty baby like you. Hey, Susan. Hi, honey. Hi, Leslie. Come here. Got a jigsaw puzzle. Can and we help you put it together? You sure can, Leslie. You can help me hand the pieces together. Now you looks two like have a big to, old mountain. Uh, you have to figure out what it is. I now. think it looks like a top of a black cat. A top of a black cat. Okay. Let's That's pretty cool. Now it looks like a black cats. I know what. An eye. An eye? Yeah. Okay. There. Okay. Wait a minute. Where's that go? That goes in there. So it's somebody's face, right? Two eyes. Hey, that was very good. One nose. Okay, Leslie. That means there's a person I all I know. That's right. Hey, it's really coming into shape there. It look like anybody you know? Huh? Not yet. Not yet? Try this. <laughs> yep. It's starting to look like somebody you know, right? <laughs> Okay, Ooh. give me... Okay, I'll take that piece. That's a good one. It's Susan. I you sure think. it's Susan? I think. If we put one more piece on here, we'll know. Now, wait a minute. Yep, it's wait Susan. Wait a minute. You're absolutely right. That's Susan. That is Susan. If I've Where ever seen Susan that before. Great picture? Oh, I can't tell you. How about that? That was a jigsaw puzzle, and it was so much fun. I think I may take it apart and put it back together again. Now that you've eaten everything in sight, would you mind telling me what you plan to have for dessert? Okay. 
Okay, we can take it apart. Hmm. Let's see how fast we can put it back together. Okay. That was a good... <laughs> hey! Hey! There it is again. There it is again. I wonder what There's he's going to write There's a letter-writing airplane. Now what's he going to write? What's he going to put together today? Well, it's starting out with a straight line. Less what kind of letters he has straight line. You think it's an I. Okay, if he stops there and he doesn't do anything else, it's an I. You're right. Maybe. But he could be making a D, or he could, could be, be making any one of those straight line. Could or be an L. L. Oh, it's coming down the other side. Look H. at that. It could be an H. Yeah. Or well, what else could it be? An M. Could be an M. It could be a U if he continued around the bottom. That's right. It could be, but he's got to make. If he makes another move. I don't see him doing and, anything. Oh. Wait a minute. See how far he goes. Wait, wait, wait. See how far. If he goes all the way down, it's an N. It's an N. Yeah. You are. He could have stopped right there and made it, it an going N. Going up, it see. could have been an M, but it's mm -hmm. an N. It's an N. How about that? Well, I've seen a lot of letters before, but... Boy, those are I, some big letters. That guy really writes a lot of stuff. You know that? Yeah. He just likes to do that all the time. Well, takes care of that. Uh, speaking of N, though, uh, let's try to think of a word that begins with the letter N. What do you think? Um... How about nice? Nice. Yeah. The word nice begins with the letter N. And the word neck begins with the letter N, right? right? Okay, can you think of another word that begins with the letter N? N. Nail. N. Okay, Leslie, Troy, Ronald, I'm going to ask you some questions. And the answer to all of these questions is going to be the very same answer. You understand? So don't answer me until I, you know, I've given you all the questions. Okay? Got it, Leslie? Got it. Got it? Got it, Troy? Yeah. Okay. Yes. You, you got it, Ronald? Okay. Ow. Oh, man. Okay, now look. Um, <laughs> where do boats sail? That's number don't, one. Don't answer, right? Question number one. Okay. Uh, when your mother mops the floor, what's in the bucket? That's another question. Question number two. Right. Uh, when you take a bath, what do you fill the tub with? Okay. Question number three. Now, here's the last question. When you turn on the tap or the faucet to get a nice cool drink, what comes out? Now, give it to me. Water! Hey, water. Water is certainly a useful thing, and it's all around you.
know, I guess everybody worries about, well, about having a friend, but especially on the first day of school. I have a story here called, Will I Have a Friend? And it's just about, about that sort of a thing. It's a little boy called, uh, called Jim, and he was asking his dad about this very thing as they were going to school for the first time. They were walking along to school, and Jim said to his pa, hey, Pa, do you think I'll have a friend at school? Oh, I think you will, said Pa, and, and Pa smiled down at him. But in the big schoolroom, Pa said, Goodbye, Jim. But, but Jim didn't say anything. He didn't want to say goodbye. Come, Jim, the teacher said. Now, all the boys were making noise, and all the girls were laughing. Where was his friend? And the teacher said, here's Bill. He's a rocket man. And Bill said, and he rocketed off. Anna Marie walked by. She was, well, she was pulling a wagon filled with blocks. Jim looked at them, and Anna Marie just skipped away. Uh, then Jim went over to a big table. There were lumps and humps of of gray clay on it. The children were pulling and pinching and poking and, and patting the clay. They were making snakes and hills, holes and, <laughs> and a banana. Jim reached out and touched the clay. It was cool and, and wet. And when he picked it up, it was heavy. Jim made a man, but he did not know any friend to show him to. Well, now it was orange juice and cookie time. George said, I want to pass the cookies. Look, shouted Bill, I bit the moon. Hey, so did I, said Anna Maria. Jim thought of something to say. He said it to Joseph. But Joseph's mouth was full of cookies, and he didn't answer. Well, the pitcher was empty, and juice time was over. Now, Sarah was telling Margaret a secret. Jim looked at them. Where was his friend? Danny was shouting, hey, let's do funny tummies. Danny poked out his tummy and bumped Willie's, and Willie bumped Sammy's. And when they bumped, they laughed and yelled, hello, Mr. Funny Tummy. <laughs> and Jim laughed, too. Then the teacher called, come to story time. All the children came running. Jim sat next to Paul. The teacher read them a, a book about a monkey. Danny jumped up. Hey, I'm a monkey, he said, and he put his tongue in his lip and stuck his fingers in his ears. And Jim, well, he, he thought he looked just like a monkey. Then the teacher said, time for the monkeys to rest. So they lay down on their mats but it was hard for them to lie still. Jim looked at the ceiling, and he, and he scratched his foot, and, and he rolled over, and, and he rolled back. Someone was looking at him. It was Paul, and he had something in his hand. When rest time was over, everybody got up. Hey, look what I have, said Paul. He showed Jim a tiny truck. Jim reached out, and Paul put it in his hand. The doors really work, said Paul. Well, I've got a gas pump, said Jim. I'll bring it tomorrow. Anna Maria called. Hey, Jim and Paul, don't you want to come and play? OK, Jim, asked Paul. OK, said Jim. Well, after school, while he was skipping home, Jim said to his pa, Hey, do you know what, Pa? I have a friend at school. I thought you would, said Pa. And Pa just smiled down at him. Hey, that's kind of a nice book, isn't it? You know, I'll bet uh, after Jim had been at school for a while, he, he probably learned to read books like this. You know, I can tell you something that you can tell all of your friends. And that is that in order to read a book like this, you have to know the alphabet. Go ahead. Now. Now. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Don't dance. A, 
All right, you ready for this? You know what it is? It's a banana, right? Ordinary banana. Use it in breakfast time. Put it on your cereal. Banana. But where do you see this? Want we'll to see that again? I'm blowing a banana. It's making music. You don't believe it? OK, here's what's going on. I have a horn, a bulb horn. Squeeze the bulb makes music, okay? Now, if you can't see this horn, it looks like you're blowing the banana and the banana's making music. Watch. See what I mean? Okay, now I'm gonna play this trick on Ernie. So come on, let's see what's going on. Hello there, Gordon. Hello, Ernie, how are you? Fine, thank you, how are you? Ernie, uh, are you ready for your daily game? My daily game? Your daily oh, game. certainly am. This one is called What's Three of these things belong yes. together. Right. And of course, one of them doesn't. Three belong together. Three belong and together. And one of them doesn't belong together. Now you have a harmonica. A harmonica? Over there. Yes. Have a whistle. Right a whistle? here. whistle? Have a horn a right horn. here. You have a banana. And a banana. Over here. Okay? You well, dig all that? All right. Well, okay. that's very easy. You think that's, that's easy? That's very simple. Yes. Which one doesn't belong? The there? banana does not belong with the others. Ernie, are you sure about that? I'm certainly sure. You are? Yes, because you see, all of the others make music. Yeah. You see, with the uh, harmonica here, you see, right. the harmonica makes music. Beautiful music. I okay. like that. Yeah. Now the uh, the police whistle here. Uh huh. See, that that uh, makes music too. Stops a lot of traffic. Mm hmm. Mm. Uh, the uh, little horn here. Yeah. That uh, you can blow into, and that makes music too. The regular Miles Davis tried right. a banana. But the banana, as everyone knows, does not make music. Ernie, are you sure about that? Oh, sure, I'm sure. Everybody knows the banana doesn't make music. Everybody may know it, but only you can try it. I can try it? You can try it. Try to blow it. See what happens. You mean... You, blow the banana. Yeah. You want me to blow the banana? I want you to blow the banana, man. You Go want ahead. me to blow yeah. the banana? Blow the banana. That's a ridiculous thing. No, it isn't. Blow it. Blow it again. Hey, that's weird. This is a musical banana. It's a... Holy cow! You I've like never. That? Yes, that's that's amazing. <laughs> you really like I've that? I've never huh? seen anything Do like that again. in my life. Do it again, Ernie. You see what's happening? Wait a minute. Yeah. When I was blowing into the banana, you were squeezing the horn. You're right, Ernie. This banana wasn't making any music. It wasn't making a sound. You were making the music. I was making the music. You were tricking me. I was tricking you. That's funny. You dig the trick? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Oh that's man, that's too funny. much. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. I kind of like it. Yeah, that, that's great. Yeah. That's well, a nice trick. You like that, huh? Hey, you know what? We ought to play this trick on somebody else. You really want to do that? Yeah, let's, let's do that. We'll wait here, uh -huh. and when somebody comes along, we'll play that trick on them. Good idea, Ernie. How about that? We'll have a ball. Okay. Come Are the on. things all in order here? Everything's dum, in order, dum, yeah. Dum, 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 hey, dum, dum. listen. Hey, you. What? Come over here. Hello. Now, look over here. Yeah. Now, see here, are there are four things down here. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Now, three of those things belong together, but one of them doesn't. Can you tell which of those things does not belong with the others? Hmm? Sure. Ha. The banana. The banana. Right. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> Are you super sure? Yep. Okay. You see, now, every monster knows that the harmonica you eat. Um, chum, chum. You eat a harmonica? Yeah. And you eat a horn. Um, chum, 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 chum. You eat a horn? And you eat a whistle. 
You eat the whistle? What? Every monster knows that you make beautiful music with a banana. Thank you. That's a nice tone that banana has. And the harmonica was delicious. You're welcome. That's weird. It's really strange. I'm going to tell you why. Because all of these are pieces of fruit. This is an apple. That's a bunch of grapes. This is a banana. And that's a bunch of strawberries. And of course, over here, that's a shoe, a baseball, and a truck. And of course, you know, that's not fruit. Do you know what letter the word fruit begins with? Fruit begins with the letter F. It's an insult, I tell you. Look, I'm a fly. Fly begins with this letter, F. Trouble is, Frog begins with F, too. But while flies are <coughs> very handsome, frogs are fat and ugly. Therefore, I claim it's beneath my dignity as a fly to have to appear here to talk about the letter F with this. Ribbit. F. Fly. Uh, my name is Kermit, and today I'm going to tell you about the word same. Now, same is when a lot of things are just exactly like each other. See? Now, like, like these two things over here. Now, you can tell by looking at them that they're exactly the same. You see, they both have four sides, and uh, they are the same size, they are the same shape, and they are... Uh... Uh, what are you doing over there? Hey, hey you! Hey, wait, wait, get away from that! Now, I'm trying to explain about how these two things are the same, and you come along and take a bite out of one of them. Now, look what you've done. Now, they're just as different as can be. Now, this one over here is, is just like it used to be, and that one over there has got a great big bite taken out of it. Uh, now, uh, they're uh, not hey, the hey, same wait, at all. Wait, wait, wait. What? Wait a minute. What? Uh, what? Uh, there. Oh. Uh, um, oh, look at that. Yeah. Uh, hey. um, well, uh, um, now uh, they are the same again. Yeah, where was I? Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, now, as you can see, these two things here are exactly the same. Uh, oh, no, they're not. What? No. Why? They're not the same at all. Why? Well, this one's delicious. Delicious? Yeah. And this one, huh? yucky. Huh? Yeah. Oh, delicious. Yeah. <laughs>
Hey, hey, Ronald. Uh, when you see those dots, you know those dots. Of bump, 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 what do you think about? The Earth. The Earth? You think about the Earth when you see those dots? You look at them and they're just dots, and you look at them and you think it's the Earth. What else? Do you, what else do you think about? Outer space. Outer space? You kidding me? Really? When you look at them, you think about outer space. Why? Because I see something sticking out. You see something sticking out. Something sticking out of what? The moon. You see something sticking out of the moon when you see those dots? Really? Oh, you got a wild imagination. Did you ever look at one thing? <laughs> Did you ever look at one thing and it was really something else? No. Yeah. You, yeah? What? Tell An me. Animal. An animal? You looked at one kind of animal and you thought it was another kind. What animal? Elephant. An elephant. What did you think it was? A cow. A cow. That's very good. Okay. Look, Ronald, I'm going to show you one thing, and you're going to have to look carefully because it may not be what you think it is. Okay, it's a nice ride up to now. Out and clear. Roger. Okay, the fuel is go, about one and a quarter G's. Cabinet pressure is just coming off the peg. The oxygen is go with 26 amps. Roger, pitch AA, trajectory is good. Roger, looks good here. Uh, Roger, you're on the window. Are you trying a yaw maneuver? I'm trying a yaw maneuver and I'm on the window. It's such a fascinating view out the window, you just can't help but look out that way. Well, that's a great fired, okay. Roger, zero G, and I feel fine. Capsule is turning around. Oh, that view is tremendous. Capsule turning around, and I could see the booster during turnaround just a couple of hundred yards behind me. It was beautiful. Roger, seven, you have a go. At least seven orbits. Roger, understand go for at least seven orbits. You're just in time to look at some puppies with us. You know what kind they are? These are called dachshunds.
We have two different kinds of dachshunds here today. This is, this is called a long, long-coated dachshund, long-haired dachshund, and uh, and so is this one over here. This is a, this is a long-haired dachshund over here. And then let's see. Maybe they'd like some milk, and we can show them the, the smooth. Rico has the smooth. Smooth-coated dachshund here. Mine licks a lot. Doesn't they lack them? And there's another kind uh, look at here. We called a wired. Ooh, look at here. They're hungry, aren't they? They're so thirsty. You know what these dogs are used for a lot? They come from uh, from Germany. They come from Germany a lot, and they're they're used for hunting. Mm -hmm. Well, these are just babies. Now, this little fella here, he's about two months old. And these... Sure is fat. Mm, he is fat. And these two are about uh, six weeks old. I'm looking at this. You see how short their nose is right now? It'll, it'll get to be much, much longer when they get older. Small, though. Mm-hmm. That's so they can nurse. Their, their nose is short right now so that they can still nurse from their, from their mommy, but when they get older, their, their nose will be much longer Where than that. Where is their mommy? Well, their mommy is, is, uh, at is at home. She's taking care of the rest of the puppies. They have some more brothers and sisters at home. How many more? Oh, by the way, uh, we have another four-legged animal called Itchy, and Itchy's gonna count to four for us. Ready, Itchy? Now, here comes Itchy. That's one. There's the old two, Itch. Oh, that's a good one. Three. <laughs> and now for the big finale, Itchy, there's four. Way to go, Itch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One for the fiddle, two for the bow, three for the trumpet, and four to blow, five for the drum, six for the stick, seven for the guitar, eight for the pick, nine for the piano, ten for the hand, Hooray for the octopus. One man band. One for the fiddle, two for the bow, three for the trumpet, and four to blow. Five for the drum, six for the stick, seven for the guitar, eight for the pick, nine for the piano, ten for the hand. Hooray for the octopus, one man band. Okay, we're gonna play a game. 
called What Weather Do You Wear These Clothes? Now I'm going to show you different articles of clothing. Now you wait till I finish showing you all the articles of clothing for one season, then you guess the season. I'll call on you when we get them all shown. Mittens. Wait, 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 wait. I'm not finished. This is all for one season. Galoshes. A nice warm jacket with the hood on it. Nice furry one. Okay, Shelly, what season? Snow. For well, what season is that? Winter. Snow. Oh yeah. Yeah, winter. winter. Or just cold weather. It doesn't have to be snowing, like around now, okay? Okay, um oh, I know that one. Rico, this one's yours. Watch all this. Oh, what a lovely creation. A swimming suit. I call it a baby. Well, <laughs> a nice hat and some good sunglasses. Yeah? You put them on? Okay, when would you wear those? What season, Rico? I know. Summer. Summer, okay. Now that one's for me. Wait a minute. <laughs> Galoshes. What's this? This is a, a, a good kind coat. of raincoat and rain hat. <laughs> when, when would you wear that? And the umbrella, when would you use that? Uh, Rico? On rainy days. Anytime it's raining. You know, an umbrella is such a useful thing to have when it's raining. That is, unless you happen to be Buddy and Jim. Well, come on, Buddy. I'm coming, Jim. I'm coming. Hey, Jim. What is it? Tell me something, will you? What? Hey, Jim. Jim, what do we got in the cart? We got umbrellas in the cart. What are, what are, what are umbrellas for, Jim? Well, they keep you dry when it's raining out. They don't work. Of course they work. But first you gotta open it. Oh! Don't work, Jim. I didn't mean open the cart, you dummy. You gotta open the umbrellas. If I open the, uh, an umbrella, it keeps the rain off me while it keeps me dry while, while, while it's raining? Sure, that's what I heard. I won't get wet? Jim? What is it? Would you help me find one that works? Oh, all right. I'm getting wet, Jim. Hey, Jim. What? You know something? Umbrellas don't keep you dry when it rains. You know, I think there's something wrong here. What is it? I think you're supposed to unwrap them first. You see how all these umbrellas are all wrapped up? Why, sure. All right. Now, let's see what happens if we take the cloth off. Come on, Jim. Take the cloth. Yeah. Hey, Jim, you did it again. I certainly did. We've got three hungry, frisky dogs here, so you can come on in and watch this if you want to. I have no idea what will happen, except they do want milk, right? So, just so happens, I've got milk. So let them... let them go. That's right. Let them go. Let them go. go. <laughs> there you go. Hey, you can let... He doesn't, doesn't want to go. go. Anyway. That's all right. Let she him stay She just wants there. to play. Unless she's eating Rico's shoes. Look at that. Look at that. Why don't you stop? And that's the little girl picking on everybody. Hey, why don't you right? be a lady and stop that? Bite. Get out of here. You bite anybody. Here, now drink it out. She's so mean. Uh-oh. That's all right. Susan will get that. I trained my little
<laughs> Two runaway dogs. Work. We gotta save one. Come back here. Okay. Okay. The tough runaway. Tough runaway dog. Doesn't he want a dog catch a job? That's the one available on Sesame Street. Huh? You called yours what? Tough. Tough. Tough runaway girl. You got a great feet. All you gotta do is drink. On behalf of all the runaway dogs in town, we'll see you soon. Okay, come back and join us. Sesame Street has been brought to you today by the letters F, K, and N, and by the numbers four and five. Well, I Have a Friend, with story by Miriam Cohen, pictures by Lillian Hoban, published by the Macmillan Company, copyright 1967. Sesame Street is a production of the Children's Television Workshop. Television Network.